Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to learn how can we use online GDB debugger to debug C programs. In order to use GDB online, we have to visit a website named onlinegdb.com. In this website, it will give us the opportunity to write a program and uh, run the C programs and then we can see the output in the terminal. I have written a simple program in which I have declared two variables and I am doing some arithmetic operations on those variables and then I am printing those variables. But before running the program, we have to select the programming language that we are using. Here we are using the C programming language. So I have selected C programming. And after that, if I press this run button, which is available in the website, we can see the output of our program in this terminal. I hope you are able to see this uh, 14 and 6. Initially, I value will be 5 and uh, then j becomes 7 and j becomes j multiplied by 2. 7 multiplied 2 becomes 14 and uh, initially I was 5 and we are adding 1 to i. So i becomes 6. So that is what we are seeing here. If you want to debug this program, we have to use debug option that is available in this website. So if I click on debug options, then I am seeing that uh, I am seeing a well, I am already seeing a breakpoint. I am going to delete this breakpoint for this demo. So now if I give in four breakpoints, usually you won't uh, see any breakpoints in the beginning. Earlier I was trying and I added this breakpoint. If you give in four breakpoints in the beginning. It uh, GDB clarifies that there are no breakpoints or watch points. Now let's add a breakpoint here at line number 14. For adding a breakpoint, we can use break space main.c that is the source file name that is available that is shown here. And then we have to give a colon and we have to mention line number. After giving break command with the source file and uh, line number, if you give enter, GDB confirms that it has added a breakpoint at line number 14. You can also see in the UI that this red colored mark represents a breakpoint. Now we can run this program using a run command. If I give run command, GDB confirms that it is stopped at a breakpoint. You can also see in this uh, tool that is highlighted by green color. So now we are at breakpoint 14. Now we can examine the variables which are previously declared before this line. So now we are at line number 14. So i is previously declared before line number 14. Now if you want to check the value of i, we can use print space i command. If we press enter, we are seeing a value of 5. At line number 14, value of variable i is 5 that is expected we assigned phi to i and gdb shows phi as the value and in order to execute the next line we have to give next command after giving the next command and pressing enter here you can see that it executed one one more line that is line number 14 and now we are at uh, line number it executed one more line named uh, 14 and now we are at line number 15 now we can use another command named info local in order to print all the variables info locals when you give this command it shows the variables which are present in that uh, local stack so i and j are present i value is 5 and j value is 7 so that is expected we assigned 5 to i and we added 2 to i so that's why i value is 5 and j value is 7 and once again if we give next command it executes one more line now it has executed one more line now we can try to print the value of i <coughs> now we can see that i value is still 5 because it just executed this line line number 15 so if we examine the value of j we are going to get 14 because earlier j was 7 when we checked here j was 7 and after executing one more line it become 14 so this is how we can use 
GDB tool in online in order to debug your simple C programs. I hope you like this video. If you are interested in learning more about other data structures and algorithms, you can consider check out other videos from my channel. Thanks for watching this video.